Mm -hmm. But all he needs to do is really just play it right against a Tigreal, right? But we'll see what he does. But I do get the idea here with the Tigreal and the Nolan. The Nolan kind of forces you to go flicker. Tigreal kind of forces you to go purify. And now you're stuck in a pretty scary spot, but as expected, the Hylos is not going to go XP. It's the Terizla for Mr. Rez. It's Terezla. The Rizzler. <laughs> Literally, the Rizzler. Coming into the land of Dawn. Big AoE is available for both teams, but again, with that Vexana, like you said, Mirko, if he even goes for Flicker and positions well, this yeah. means that whenever Dreams will be looking for some kind of big play, big combo, there's so many ways for Fnatic Onyx to kind of stop him, right? The Hylus can be a problem, the Julian can be a problem, and so can the Vexana and Terizla. In fact, with the Terizla, there's a chance that when the Tiger goes in, the Terrizla can zone everyone else away. If Evos want to really get an advantage here, they gotta come from some flanks. You can't really go for a front to back, because I think Fnatic Onyx will have their number there. Really hard win condition for the White Tigers to execute from the looks of it from the draft. But let's see though, if they're gonna be able to take care of that Five in the land of Dawn. The it's going to be Fnatic Onyx versus Evos Glory. It's a battle of execution as we jump into the land of dawn. Both drafts. We understand those win conditions Welcome here. Evo's glory actually going back to the style that made them qualify to MSC 2024. This is it. This is the layering gameplay that we saw from Evo's glory just last season. Multifaceted approach. Good early game. Good late game as well. Oh, but look oh, at that man. mid lane, man. Sans. Clawkin just gets way, way too low. Forced to back away. <laughs> oh man, the pressure. Sans? Menacing Sun oh, stands there. Oh my god. As we take a look at the emblems by Indy Home. Tenacities for the Vexana, for the Hylos, as well as for the Tegriel. But Klaukun resorts to go for the Inspire. He wants the cooldowns for more mobility, more safety from Albert, but also to actually get a bit more uh, value on the ultimate. Now for Fluffy, Festival of Blood for more laning prowess, more sustain, but also the agility to match the rotations, because Rez is going for the same kind of setup. This a little bit of a punch back from Claw Kun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Master Assassin. Uh -oh. By the way, on CW. Way. Knowing that it is going to be a winning matchup for the carry up against the Claude. Already, the pressure is still from Albert and also Rez. And now they have an easier time to set up in the XP lane later on because Fluffy is going to recall. So far, look at that. Suns is just holding the mid lane quite well and Dreams is just kind of like hovering around the mid lane so far. Sonic Onic with the mid, mid lane pressure. They've been very dominant. Making sure that whenever Sans walks up, there is going to be some backup. I think it's a known fact at this point. The Grand Sphantic Onyx, if you can pressure the mid lane, immediately their game plan becomes a bit less menacing, a bit less threatening, as we can see in the gold lane. Natco and CW, a bit of an interesting matchup. I think CW is just doing a good job playing it for freeze, playing lane and harass better. But with the turtle spawning right here, he goes. They're not in position just yet. Yeah, Dreams was unable to actually get the reset down. That was shoved back onto Keyboy. Giving Annabel some space. Rez has a penalty zone. Good terrifying oh. to the Eternal Guard to chase CC from Sans. Three red dream for Albert Glockhood. Of course, using Eternal Guard there to steal. That's a penalty zone from Rez on the Terizla. Albert getting a kill on top of the turtle. It is uh it is really weird that Evos Glory were able to or somehow forced out the turtle fight, knowing that pretty much in all resources they uh -oh. were losing. Even at the time, Fluffy was not, was not, we're not level four just yet. Exactly. And you know, for Egos, you can't be late to the party like that against a team like Fnatic Onic that is decisive. Huh. As we take a look at the talents prediction by our new application, GoPay, Mr. Pulung. Anti Onic, as usual. Never Mr. with the pack. Pulung. There's even a chant for him. If you guys don't know, ladies and gentlemen, here in Ambil Indonesia, Dreams. Oh, oh he breaks a terrified the clock hood, gets immobilized. Oh, Evos. They lose out on their dream. It's... Yeah, that, that's an interesting interaction for sure, though. Sacred Hammer, but look at Natko, man. Albert. Uh oh, and now Shane to knock up. Natko pops in a purify, jumps in with the blazing oh. duet, dealing a bit of damage back to Albarabab, but it's all good. It's a nightmarish early game for Evos Glory right now. They're up or down about 1.6k gold lead in a span of not even four minutes. That is reasonable worry, reasonable doubt for the Evos fans. And now Annabelle, gotta make sure that he has some kind of control towards Albert's jungle. 
Take a look at our uh, MPLID Extreme report Whoa, right here. A bit too close to the camera, to the, to the screen, man. Yeah, Evo's UP uh. clearly catching some attention right here from the audience here as well, by the way. Oh, but look at that! What? Whoa! What happened? Did Clockon just disappear? I think UP missed it. Or did you react to UP waving? I, it, it just happened in the blink of an eye. I don't know, man, but that was a really good oh. play. Albert, though, still has the enhance. Oh, wow. You got a stun by Keyboy there. That could have been an implosion by Dreams. Could have caught Albert off guard, but no. Keyboy's always there. Ooh, look at this move to the purple buff. The risk coming back in, but Annabelle will be able to get it. But look at a turtle. Immediately, man. Fnatic Onyx with the pressure. They're zoning Evos away so well before the fight begins. That is the highest pressure we're talking about. Look at him. Look at him. He's walking up again. Oh, doing some damage. Sans purifies out there. Gets caught by the implosion. That's going to be a trade back, though. Keyboy actually gets shoved back. Dream's going to be taking low plays into it from Nato. Dealing so much damage. EW walking up. Fluffy going to be able to find the Infernal Pursuit. Now jumping on the res, who's still able to flicker out. CW punishing Fluffy from taking that Infernal Pursuit. And in the end, it'll be a trade. Two for two. But remember, Fnatic Onyx got the turtle already. For the standard of Sans, that was a really overzealous play, man. He was overextending all over the place, knowing that Dream still has the flicker as well. You gotta watch out for that because you're on a purify and you can't really get away micro-wise from that. Definitely is dangerous. But on the top of all of that, Evos actually are keeping up in levels, especially when it comes to their jungler. Annabelle is clearing a lot faster. Level 9 to uh, Albert, who only now got level 9 despite the two kills. For dreams. Oh, 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 man, empowered sight there coming in from Albert. But oh, Annabelle. Rez in a 2v1. Doesn't have the flicker to go for the outplay, but it seems he might not need the flicker. It just walks out. Fluffy can't get the proc anymore. Clockin walking up. Rez getting the brave smite, getting so much done. Oh my goodness, it almost Oof. came down to a one for one. But Fluffy is able to get his own brave smite proc. A lot of resources wasted or used correctly towards Res. It is a kill at the end of the day, so it is a W for Eva's glory. Now the question is, can they find something like that in this mid game? Because right now, Fnatic Onyx is up 2.4k Gothi and they're still on the, bottom, on the bottom, top lane. Eternal Guard from Sans Dreams trying to go for the implosion, but ended up imploding himself. There's too many ways, too much damage, two purifies, not even used in that one engagement. Fnatic Onyx, once again, they lost their member early on when there's nothing on the map. And the moment that there is a turtle, man advantage by one guy. Sans, looking for a chance to make a play happen, hits Clockroom. Just catches him, Fluffy can't even look for the entrance. Annabelle tickles Keyboy. Keyboy finds it funny, it seems. <laughs> Truly is amusing. Nolan damage against the Hylas. Not really much he can do right there. Annabelle Ooh. stuck in a difficult spot, Nat but Cole. he does have a chance. Oh, Natko, this was one of the keys to victory. Overextension, and we see it again from Natko. Up against Fnatic Onyx, still playing so far up ahead. That is, that ain't it, Natko. That was, uh, I don't know about that, man, yikes. <laughs> Just too much damage, too far ahead. But Annabelle will be able to get some kind of split angle going on, but Fnatic Onyx will be trading it back almost immediately. And looking at the items, by the way, earlier, Keyboy actually has a Dreadnought armor, so a lot of these ability-based damage coming towards him will be negated. Not iconic right now. They have all the opportunity to make something happen in the world. Sun's Recall is interesting there. Might be just topping up the mana. And now with Lord, it's gonna come up by cool. 60 seconds. Evo's Glory. They're gonna be forced to somehow try to make a play at this one, but with Keyboy in the front, what can you do? Oh, oh no, this is the negative of the Phobius. All you can do is really go in. The penalty zone comes in, but it actually doesn't connect onto anyone. There is an implosion and the shove brings Albert back. So with the hand sword, though, able to escape. Now Annabelle jumping in, Res flickering out of the fracture. And Annabelle can't get the kill. It becomes a clean one for O take for Fnatic Onic. It's such a disgusting combo. Annabelle still looking for something, looking desperately to try and equalize, but he won't be able able to do so he'll be denied at every single turn the fact that they have such a good shred tool the carry to try and deal with this phobias that has been meta that has been scary in the season and they have hylas as well with the with the revitalized keyboard just stood oh, there oh, look at dream kage. what are the kages of the kage onic era Trian is in the building here MPL oh. is in the clock Kun. Still gets away with his kills. Nothing too dangerous just yet. Man, it's been a while since we've seen Drian. Just last season playing for Dewa. 
actually being the main carry for Dewa, despite being the roamer now. Watching from the sidelines, but still, shoutouts to the legend of MPL Indo, legend of Onik. The Kage, look at his reaction to it. Okay, he's trying to mock us. Oh, he's trying to flex with oh the three rings. It's a bit itchy on the face. He's an Do MSC not? champion, a season three champion, and then a three time. And yo, he's actually the only two time MSC champ. Wow, great accolade. But now his team is going. His ex team is going for the play. That's a stun onto Dreams, who can't really uh -oh. go for anything. Jumps in with the implosion, but Albert cancels it out with an ass side red. Jumps in with the penalty zone. Now Annabelle dealing some damage with the fracture. But it's going to be the vengeance from Fluffy knocked up by the Lord. But that got it losing a low hole. Oh. Damage now, placing duet from that toe. Not enough to take them down just yet. Good terrify from Sans. And the cursed blast to take him down. Two for three. Evo's glory respond. The fact that they were able to somehow win that fight with the implosion being almost non-factor. That was amazing for Evo's glory, the best case scenario at the time. And now they're looking to bounce back once again with this Lord in their hand. It's the lack of saving for Fnatic Onik. They were all focusing on the fight, using whatever they have to kind of strike back at Evo's, but they forgot that in the back, Natko is just biding his time, going with the blazing duet last second, really showing the damage difference from an AOE marksman compared to a single target marksman. That is one of, a big, one of the big tools that Evo's has at their disposal, and they used it well right there. The last match, Evo's Chloe were able to somehow throw the game away to the Blue Bulls. Now they're on the, end, the other end of it, now Annabelle might be in trouble here, 2v1. Oh. Good penalty zone by Rez, good read! And a shutdown for him. Beautiful Great one. Guy. The read from Rez with the penalty zone, and knowing the limits as well. There was a... I guess... The hitbox were almost not getting. Not, uh, Annabelle. The last second in power chain there from Albert really got uh, the job done in catching Annabelle. But with that plane, they were able to kind of stave off the Lord aggression, keep uh, two of their turrets outside the base, and even get the mid turret. So, oh, Glorious Pathway. Woo. That's the sound of the horsey man as he pops into Glorious Pathway. But in the bottom lane, Natko is actually going to look for a trade as Fnatic Onik are all revealed, they're all seen on the map. That's the Natko we like to see. The Natko who is calculated. Yeah. Nat Calculator. Well, doesn't it really quite work? Nat it Calculator? Natculator. Nat ah. We are gonna spend some more time on that, but looking at the items here, CW with the win of nature, now the Blazing Duet can be mitigated by quite a bit, and with Albert picking up the Holy Crystal as well. Whoa, dreams! Keyboy getting shot back, and now you can see that Natco damage piling up onto Keyboy. It's no longer, no longer the tickles. It is a big gun to the face whenever Natco starts gunning him down. But by the way, shout out from Keyboy not using the revitalize on that kind of situation, man. Oh, good no. actually. Eternal Guard didn't really connect on towards anyone there. And once again, Evos is just taking a little bit of gold or like lead away from Fnatic Onic. Still a 1k gold difference only, despite all the wins Fnatic Onic were able to get. is a structural difference that's really making a, a big swing in balance as well. Natko, already with a three item power spike, now he can afford to really go for some defensive items. Perhaps it will allow him to walk forward and effectively deny Keyboy. By all means, with the Revitalize, he can still tank up a lot of damage. But for now, with only an anti Kuras and still leg plates, I think he's going to go straight for the Blade Armor to really try and mitigate some of that DPS coming in from uh, Natko. Because aside from the Claude, no one else really can take down this Hylos. Speaking of mitigating some damage, Natko actually bought a really important item just now, that win of nature. It's gotta somehow... Oh, they get damage away from CW. Until played by Keyboy, didn't really connect to anyone, but Fnatic Onyx just stealing everything. Whoa! NFL was hovering over. Fnatic Onyx snuck that under the rug. Good eternal card to disengage too. Stopping any response from Evo's glory. Keyboy even with a recall for good measure there. Just flexing it around. Man, Fnatic Onyx, with all the damage they have from the Julian, from the carry, they're able to just sneak that Lord really, really fast. It's not even the first Lord, and it just melted Evo's a bit too careful, not really setting up properly for the vision. And now there's a chance that Keyboy can go for a chase. Clock with Fnatic Onyx already doubling the kills from Evo's glory. Not really the greatest lead right now in this 13th minute of the game. Gotta be honest. Right now, Fnatic Onyx, they could have just 
dominate the game even more if Sans and the crew somehow didn't really make a mistake on a previous fight. And now it's gonna be a siege from the Lord. Sans is still right there at the front keyboard, popping Glorious pathway down. No one can actually walk up to the Lord and siege it down or walk up to the turret here. The Lord is actually gonna be cleared out. Evil's glory able to keep their base turret intact. And Fnatic Onyx actually failed to take the other tier twos on the map. It is literally Ooh. just one keyboy looking for the flag in the back. Oh, oh the turret fight! Connected onto Natko, forcing the Purify some big resources, and it is delayed, but Fnatic Onyx still get the base turret, and it is gonna be in the far lane, away from the next Lord. Gal, you pick up for sure. The tri triple love as well, for good measure. The waves in the bottom side were cleared a bit, but I think it's still empowered, so Fnatic Onyx won't be making a play there, though. Still pushing on the mid lane, going for the control. Evos. All things considered, we're able to kind of recover, retain some of the turrets, but that base turret is going to be very costly, man. They're already losing out in setup advantage against Fnatic Onyx, and with this composition, we saw how fast the Lord takes R from Fnatic Onyx. So even one person sent away to the far side to clear up this wave is going to be so disadvantageous for Evos. If look at their items, though, BOD completed for Annabelle, but can he find the play, though, to jump onto the back line? The issue with the Vexana is that now Sans has the Winter Crown, and he also has, still has so much presence in the fight just by dropping down the Eternal Guard to try and do extra bits of damage. And he also has the Warrior as well, just to kind of, um, you know, get away some of the damage. Oh, it dreams. It's gonna be a concealed play. Oh, right away. But Korean Fortune coming down. Nako doing some damage. Red still able to survive somehow. Kibo in the back with the Glorious Pathway, zoning them away. And oh. now it's a re engage from Fnatic Onic. Dreams will be knocked up and taken oh. down. Good penalty zone into the Eternal Guard. Not go jumping into the back line, but again, it's CW who still has the win of nature. Can get out Fluffy isolated from the team. Anavel forced to run for the hills. Fnatic on it with a masterful counter engage. As you said, Arashi, that blade armor is doing work for Keyboy, man. It was just, he was just tickling the horse at a time. It's not enough damage. Not the right target either, man. Keyboy. Oh man, with the crown for Rez. And a glorious pathway again. Rez has the penalty zone back up. Eight seconds for Dreams. Good discipline from Fnatic Onyx. They know that they can just take the Lord for free. Now with this Lord, this might be the opportunity that Fnatic Onyx needs to break through. To actually end the game at its time. The third Lord of the game secured by Fnatic Onyx. They have been very much a dominant or second Lord in a neutral objective department. Keyboy now on top of the Antiquiras, the blade armor to survive from all this physical damage. He went for the Athena, it's not the Radiant armor. Despite the fact that there's a ton of stacks available coming from the spammability of this Fovius, of the spammability of this Val uh, Valentina as well from Clockin, he knows that as long as he doesn't get picked off, him getting uh, taken out eventually is gonna still be enough for his team to capitalize. So Athena shield is the option he went for and CW gets the Rose Gold too. So even now, if Clawken wants to try and make a hero play, it won't be that simple. Ooh. You can see Annabelle splitting, but is that a bit too dangerous? That's a Malphic oh. gun. Malphic gun for Natko. Huh. That's a first. Keyboy walking up with the conceal already with the Lord there. It is a Lord v Lord, but Eternal Guard stands no chance up against the Enhanced Lord. Oh, Eternal Guard from Sans! A completely different reaction! That's a penalty zone from Teresla in the back. CW with the nature just to go for the base. 1-0, Fnatic Onyx. Really good win to build on to the second game.